Welcome to the stream, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Iggy Kid on Twitch.tv. And now, introducing your host from the 16-bit afterlife, weighing in at 273 kilobytes, assisted by the hands and voice of her mortal vessel, Iggy Kid. They are the ghost in the machine, the electric specter. El Fantasma de la Electriciedad! We oh! Hey, everybody! Ah. Alright, I'm feeling better, not sick. We're getting back to Fridays. Also, gonna start trying to do Tuesdays as well. I have kind of like a... More a uh, packed schedule. That's why I got bubble tea. Um, I got a more packed schedule, so Tuesdays and Fridays are the only days that I have, like, this particular... I guess Mondays as well. Wednesdays are out. I could kind of do the weekends, but that would be kind of a stretch. Um, at least Saturday. So yeah, Fridays, Tuesdays, maybe Mondays, and it's really dependent on, you know actually doing it consistently. Okay, so we are gonna head back out into the desert, actually. Or, uh, well, mm. Yeah. Yeah, let's take a minute to go to the desert. Because I kind of just zipped through last time. I was just not feeling great. And I ended up getting, getting kind of sick um, over the weekend into the next week. Still feel kind of ugh, but not too bad. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it was pretty good. My birthday was last Sunday, so went and uh, went to the Jacksonville Zoo. Got to uh, get out of here. Oh, dang it. Went to the Jacksonville Zoo, saw some, some great animals. Big fan. Big fan of that place. Um, got to see Capybara. Lots of various reptiles. Whoops. Ah, my coin! Okay. Blocked that at least. Uh, let's switch to you. I don't think I really need him as much now. I'll probably switch over to Cooper. Deal with these spiky fellas. Oh, yeah, watch out. Ah, I didn't get it. Um, got to feed a stingray, got to feed a giraffe, got to feed some lorikeets. Pretty cool. Got to see a Komodo dragon, which was pretty neat. He didn't look like he was very happy. I don't think this is really the, the environment that he can thrive in. So, yeah, now, I, I, I enjoyed seeing him, though. I like lizards. The reptile house is usually what I'm down for, and you know what? They got a section for each, like, part of the world, like, each continent, including North America, where it's basically just, you know, Florida creatures. Um, and they had a reptile house in basically every spot, which was pretty cool. Cooper! Yeah, let's swap to Cooper. And we're gonna... Ding, 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 boink. Nice. Got the whole crew. Nope. Nope. Come on, get the timing down. Ah, I think I'm a little early. There it is. Oh, he looks so sad. And I'll just power shell the rest. Didn't take them all out, but that's something at least. Spring the doing. Got him out of there. Uh, their main claim to fame is their jaguars. They have a baby jaguar named Banks. So I got to see him. The main thing was that when we got there, it was like starting to rain. Ended up raining really hard. So a lot of the animals didn't want to come out. Um, then, about halfway through the day after lunch, it all cleared up. So we got to, uh, go back around and basically do it twice. I swung out to 
one of my local game shops for their Sunday Lorcana stuff, which I only, I did like one match to just get a couple of points for League. It was kind of goofy, but yeah, very, very nice birthday. Got a Bridget Nendroid. Ugh, it really makes me want to get back to Guilty Gear. I do really like the game, it's just, just at that point where it's like, gonna be a lot of grinding. Mm, still too early. Uh, they got that, they like hesitate for a second and kind of like speed up. Um, got some of those, they're not like the traditional grow in water dinos, which come in like the little gel cap, and they're just like a sponge. No, my coin. They're like, they actually take like a couple days, so I got them going in a jar, I got a, got like some, an apatosaurus, I believe, one of those long neck guys, and then, I think. I think it's a Triceratops is the one that's... Ah, crap! Got distracted. I think it's a Triceratops, the one that I got in there now. It's all kind of bunched up in the eggs still, so I can't tell. Um, but yeah, I got, got that. That's fun. Got some freeze-dried saltwater taffy, which is bizarre. That's like from one of the game shops that I go to regularly. They have a bunch of freeze-dried candies. And yeah, the freeze-dried saltwater taffy. It's weird. Because it's, like, very, like, airy and crunchy. And then the inside, at the very core, there's just, like, a tiny bit of, like, chew to it. Uh, is the Toad House here? That's the item shop. I hope there's a Toad House, because I'm going to be kind of screwed if there isn't. Yes, there's a Toad House. Okay. Um, got to do a 4D theater experience there, which was just like some kind of Judy Dench narrated bug thing. Bugs in the rainforest. It was pretty cool. It was mostly 3D. They kind of spritzed us with some water at one point, which was a little bit of something, but it wasn't anything that special. You know, I'm going to have to explore the desert anyways for the next story bit, so let me just, I'm going to hang out in town for a bit. Um, let's, let's talk to people. Oh, welcome, travelers. You might have had a long, hot journey again here. Welcome to Dry Dry Outpost. Mustafa is the leader of this entire town, so hey, you'd better keep it in mind. Well, you probably won't ever see him. Master Mustafa is the main man, yeah. Master Mustafa is the main man. Ooh. Where's the man? No one knows. He stays hidden from his foes. Are you aware that there's a dojo in Toad Town? There is. A while ago, I took one of the Tojo challenges and did pretty well, I must say. Got a second degree card. You look pretty strong, so. Huh? You haven't earned any cards? Have you seen the old fortune teller in Toad Town? He's always right, so his fortune telling is famous. If you had trouble in the middle of your adventure, it'd be a good idea to see him. Uh, I don't think I've done the Dojo yet. We're gonna do that at some point, but. I this point it might be a touch early. Are you from Toad Town? Wow, that's a ways away. Dry Dry Ruins? No, never heard of it. Sounds like a local fairy tale or something. Hey, if you're serious about looking for Dry Dry whatever, you should go and ask the information trader. Supposedly this information trader lives in town and swaps information for items or something along those lines. That's what my friend says. My friend? This guy? Nah, he's way too shy to be an information trader. He don't talk, he just ran away. Okay. Oh, hello. Hmm, are you addressing me? A composer am I, writing songs while I try. Ah, I wish I could find some lovely, heart-moving lyrics. But I compose music filled with beautiful lyrics. It's my fondest wish. Right, lyrics, lyrics for that guy. Keep that one, keep that one locked in. Nobody forget! Um... Let's see. What's up? 
Hey, guess what? Hey, somewhere in the desert, there's a stone cactus. If you move three south and two west from there, you'll find something special hidden. Not sure how to find exactly, however. Should go there, huh? Yeah! Hey, wanna hear something else? I know lots of other stuff. Useful stuff, hey! Hey, did you know the desert is dangerous? If you get caught in a desert whirlwind, it'll blow you away and you'll get lost. Bandits are out there too. They appear all of a sudden running really fast and they steal people's coins. There are many tales. You better pay attention to them too because the desert is an unforgiving place. Hey, wanna hear more? Hey, guess what? There's something not a whole lot of people know. If you go south just after you leave town, you'll find an oasis. It's amazing, a paradise. They go there sometimes. If you wanna take a rest, it's the best place to go. Wanna hear something else? You'll be sorry if you don't. I know lots of stuff. Hey, you know what I heard? There are these three trees glowing in a triangle somewhere in the desert. The rumor is that if you jump in the center of the triangle, you find something good. Only I don't know where these trees are. I mean, the desert is huge. I can't know everything. Hey, you wanna hear something else or what? I've loaded with tons and tons of useful information. Hey, guess what? Hey, so, okay. Now we've looped. Whoops. Let me out. Let me out. Okay. Uh, let's save. If I recall, we have to do something with the shop, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Hmm. Oh, it's the quiz guy. Chuck, right? Quiz! Chuck Quizmo's the name, and quizzes are my game. You want quizzes? I got them. You can manage to answer my brain bursting questions correctly, then. <laughs> Yahoo! I'll give you a star piece. Wanna try quiz? Then let's go to the questions. Question. What is the name of Gumbario's younger sister? Gumbaria, right? Correct! Congratulations. Here's your star piece. Oh, just one question? Correctly answer one question so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long, farewell, till we meet again. Later, Chuck. Oh, oh I can't go back there. Brother and sister are very close. Live atop Shooting Star Summit. The brother Merlo collects star pieces and will trade badges for them. The sister Merlovely... It's Merlovely, right? I think that's a typo. So fortune teller will tell you where to find badges. Hey, uh, hey, hello. I'm assisting an archaeologist, Professor Colorado. Came to dry, dry desert to excavate dry, dry ruins, but uh, it's hot as blazes every day, and I'm constantly thirsty. I want to quit and go home. Long ago, in this very land, there was a kingdom called Dry, Dry Kingdom. King Mousta ruled over it. One day, one dark day, he was betrayed by his subjects. In the uprising that followed, Dry, Dry Kingdom was ruined. King Mousta escaped and vowed vengeance on his enemies. He gathered those faithful to him and defeated his betrayers. King Mousta's supporters were the original robbers who built Dry, Dry Outpost. What was that so? What about that? I heard that an archaeologist named Colorado is around here looking for Dry, Dry Ruins. You know what? Even if he digs up the entire desert, he won't find them. Dry Dry Outpost was built by robbers long ago, you know. The boss of the robbers was the descendant of a king. The king hid the entrance to the ruins of his kingdom, and the robber boss guarded them. Legend has it that even now, the descendant of that boss hides in this town and keeps the ruins safe from prying eyes. Oh, hey, hey! Hmm, sad about. Someone who gives things is nice. Yes, very nice. Nice guys get told nice stuff. Well, goodbye. Okay, yeah, I remember. I gotta get, um... I read it in Nintendo Power when I was young. I remember specifically, I was like... I, like, went to a friend's house and his older brother... And one of his older brother's friends was playing this. And I had read in Nintendo Power... Um... That it was a dusty shroom and a broken hammer. And I was just like, this is what you got again. I'm like, whoa, how'd you know that? I'm like, Nintendo Power, baby. Get the power. Nintendo Power. Keep this quiet. If this woman casts a spell on you, it might help you during battle. For instance, your attack power might get stronger, or you might get more coins for winning. Other stranger things may happen as well. But do not rely on this spell. By no means will it take effect in every battle. The spell can be beneficial, but it's also unpredictable. Well, may as well. Hello. Welcome. How are you? Feeling jolly? Feeling blue? I'm Merle, you see, that's me. A cuter gal you'll never see. I do magic, but not for free. Your luck has steered you well, for I'm a master of the spell. When my spell upon you glows, you might get lucky, but who knows? Do you dare to take a chance? Want to watch my cards dance? 
Oh, how lovely. Very good. Pick just one now, if you would. I'd pay as much as I could. Give me the special. Well, we're ready, tally-ho. And here we go. There's some good meter in that rhyme. Like, as much as I like Gruntilda, her rhymes are kind of, like, clunky, but these are pretty good rhymes. I think you'll find this power might get your foes to cower. It will light your darkest hour. Even should you meet a beast, do not fear, not in the least. My spell makes a famine feast. See you then. Please come again. Goodbye, my friend. All right, set up with that. Um. Hmm. There he went. Hey. A welcome, traveler. This is the renowned little mouser shop of Dry Dry Outposts. What can we interest you in? All right. So you want to spend some? Oh, actually, I want to drop off those whack -a bumps. Because they're good, but at this point, they're a little more than I really need. Dried pasta. Uh, I will get a dried pasta. That'll be good for tasty when I get back to town. Dried shrooms are going to be useful. What ho! Buying a dusty hammer after a dried shroom is a secret sign that only friends of Mr. Mustafa knows. That means you're in with Mustafa. Hey, brother. Good to meet you. Have any questions you need answered? I see Mr. Mustafa. He's usually up on the highest part of Dry Dry Outpost. Just keep going up, my man. Yeah, that's the thing, is that you gotta do Dry Shroom, then Dusty Hammer. I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out. I'm sure somebody has a hint, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna buy a bunch of those, because they're pretty useful. And a few of these. Okay. And then, yeah, we'll pick some stuff up on our way out of town as well. Let's make sure to save. Nice. Um, let me think. Any other... Oh, I get it. You were supposed to give stuff to the information trader, and then he would tell you what to do. Well, I didn't need to, because I already know. I got a letter. Not helpful. Um, been working on my Lurkana decks. I got one right now that I'm working on that's a Titans from Hades and a Magic Broom. So, like, from uh, the Sorcerer's Apprentice in Fantasia, you know, where Mickey's... With the brooms. Uh, there's a bunch of different types of brooms in this new set, so I'm building a thing around them. That's, that's gonna be pretty sweet. All right. How did you get here? Who told you how to find this place? What's up? Yes, Mouse Stuff is my name. When I'm out and about in Dry Dry Outpost, I use the name Sheik. You look nice enough. I'm a good judge of character. Been watching you ever since you came to town. Still can't believe you found me without being told. I think you must have extremely good luck, yes? Nah, I just got some memories. Your name is Mario, yes? I heard that you want to go to Dry Dry Ruins. I have a feeling that you are on an important journey, so I will tell you the secret. Dry Dry Ruins is a very important place. My ancestors have watched over it for many generations. If I do not keep people folk out of the ruins, who will? You must promise me that you will not you that you will tell no one the secret. I'll give you this. The pull stone. This pulse stone is the key to finding dry, dry ruins. Take it to the desert, yes? The pulse stone will flash above your head as you get close to the ruins. The closer you get to the ruins, the faster the pulse stone will flash. Follow where it leads you. Find the place where the pulse stone flashes the fastest. Use it to open the way. Yes. Yes. I will. Um. Okay, I didn't actually have to give him those. 
So we'll just save and we'll head out into the desert. Alright. Uh, wait, no. Uh, items, there we go. Wow, I got, I think, too many dusty hammers. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna just drop off the dried pasta because I'm not gonna need it for a minute. Uh... Yeah, dried pasta. Don't need it right away. Um... And then we will grab a couple honey syrups. They're always helpful. And... We're good to go! Alright, saving up. And out we go into the desert. Krakash, Krakosh. Um. Hmm. Whoa. Nope. Come on, let me get the guy. Let me get the guy. Yeah. So yeah, I'm building that, and then also they were talking about doing story mode, which um, the normal rule for Lorcana is that you get two of the six colors of ink, right? Uh, technically you can do one, but everybody does two, pretty much. Um, but in story mode, instead, you can have any number of colors of inks. You can just only have cards from two specific franchises, right? So when I first did story mode, which was the first tournament I did, I kind of just did, um, what did I do? I think I did, yeah, I did Snow White, uh, Snow White, Sword in the Stone, because those were the only movies I had enough cards of to do that. Oh! What's up? The spell will increase the star points. Hey! That's nice. Very helpful. I forgot it could do that. Come on back. But, oh, too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Get back here. Come on. Oh, well. Wasn't a first strike, at least. Oh, bop. Bow -bow. Power shell, both of them. Yeah. The timing on those is so tricky. Ah, them too. Gotta get better about that. I'm gonna lose health too fast. Alright, let me just do a regular shell toss. But the, uh, we might do story mode again because tomorrow we're doing a lock-in. They call it a lock-in. Basically, they're just going to be open until 6 in the morning. And you can come and go as you please. Um, but they were talking about doing story mode. So it's kind of up in the air if that's what's going to be. But uh, for story mode, I'm going to do, I think, um, Moana. Because right now, Moana uh, just got... There's been a lot of Hey Hey cards and Maui cards and Moana cards. Um, uh, there we go. Ah, I always gotta wait a little longer than I think. There it is. Yeah, you be sad. You be sad, bro. Um... But the big thing is that they just introduced, in this newest set, there is Maui Bird, the bird version of him. Nice. Uh, and his deal is that Hei Hei, the chicken from Moana, um, uh, I forget what, it, okay. Maui Bird usually has Reckless, which means that he has to attack if he can, and he can't quest, right? Which is not so great. But, um, if Hei Hei quests, 
then he loses Reckless and he gets one extra lore, which means that multiple Hey Hey's will increase his lore by a lot. Oh. More drops? Yeah. Whoa, that's so many coins! Um. Oh god, yeah, they disappear so fast. Um. So that, I'm gonna build around that. And there's a Hey Hey, you're only allowed to have four of each character. And there's a Hey Hey in purple, red, and yellow. That's uh, Amethyst, uh, Ruby, and Amber. Um, oh. oh yeah, this is the, uh, the o excuse me, the Oasis he was talking about. Uh, which normally you could only do like eight. Um, hold on, we'll drop the lemon. Then I will take the mushroom. And the honey syrup. Sip, sip, sip. Um. But then in this case, you can have a uh, 12. Hey, hey, four each. So that's gonna be pretty sweet. Uh, there's also some good new Moana cards, like Moana, Moana the character cards. Uh, the new Grandma Tala is awesome. I don't, I traded, I had the really nice Grandma Tala, which is the legendary, um, but there's a few other pretty good Grandma Talas. Um, and then I will do uh, Titans because I'll do Hercules so that I can do the Titans. And I also got a couple of Hydra cards, which are legendary. Actually, as I was sorting, um, yes, different versions of the same character. Well, no, they don't count for the four limit. It's basically the you can have four of the same specific card, but you can have multiple of the same cards in of the same character in your deck, as long as they are different versions of that character. Ooh. Well, I'm gonna go with Cooper. Yes, please. Um, yeah, I remember Marvel Versus. That wasn't the case. It was like, you could only, or wait, maybe that was the case for the deck building, but I remember it was specifically, if you have Spider-Man on the field, and you play a new Spider-Man, you gotta get rid of your other Spider-Man you already had out. Whoa, crap. Oh, crap. Um. <laughs> so this doesn't have that. You can have the same guy over and over because it's not, whereas Marvel Versus is trying to emulate Marvel. Uh, ooh, that's useful. Ow. I only got one of them. That's useful. I think I will save it for more important battles than just random fights like this. Uh, this, the lore is that these are not actually the characters, they're glimmers. So they're basically like an ink construct of the character. Right? So you can have as many as you want of any of them, and that's why you can turn them into ink, because they're they're like ink golems that just look like the characters, and sometimes are like a unique version of the character that's um, like unique to Lorcana. Like the Floodborn, or the Dreamborn. Nice. Um, yeah, I actually, I jump scared myself when I was sorting my cards because I'd gotten, uh, I got a couple of Hydras and I'd put them into my collection and I'd kind of forgotten that I had them. And so while I was like putting away some other cards and flicking through all of them, I stumbled on the Hydra card. And I was like, <laughs> it's, it's the artwork is kind of scary on the Hydra card. There's some scary artwork in this new set, dude. The Flotsam and Jetsam are, like, real spooky. I like them a lot. 
I also uh, got a Hades King of Olympus, which is a Dreamborn. The idea is that the Dreamborn are like if they achieved all of their goals. So in this case, it's Hades took over. But that means now he has like flowing blonde hair and it's very cursed. Oh. Then do nothing. There we go. I think uh, a Moana Hercules deck would be pretty good. If I had, um, there's a Maui who's like Rush, so he can attack the first turn you put him out. And Reckless, so he has to attack every turn if he can. So he's just like, he just whips through boards of characters. He's awesome. I don't have him though. I need a copy of him. I was doing it kind of recklessly before, um, where I was just like looking through all of the bulk commons at the game store and just picking anything that sounded kind of cool. But now that I have actual specific decks in mind, I can go and look for specific cards. Which means that I will not be spending as much on cards, which is uh, yeah, better for my bank account. I, w I got a little overexcited and spent probably a little too much on cards to start out, but that's fine. It gives me a solid foundation. Um, and so now going forward, I can be a little less ridiculous about it and a little more informed as to what I actually want to do. Oh, sweet. Um, ooh, batch points could be good. Uh, let's go flower points. Well, that's it, one guy. Easy peasy. Pop pop. Pop pop. Got him. Mm hmm. So addicting, dude. Like, uh, booster packs should be freaking illegal. They're so enticing. Because it's just like, yeah, it's like seven bucks to get them. And then you're just like, all right, I'll get a couple here, a couple there. And before you know it, you've spent like a hundred bucks on, on them. And it's like, no. How did this happen? Also, when I was a kid, booster packs were like three bucks. They're so expensive now. Like at the game shop, it's like eight bucks after tax. And then at Walmart, it's like, uh, it's like seven bucks, but like, that's if you're lucky enough to catch some at Walmart. I don't know. The best way to do it, frankly, is just to go on TCG Player and buy a booster box, because it's like 120 something, which after tax and shipping and whatever, it's like less than six bucks a pack, which is the, the market price. Uh, da -da. Um, but like, yeah, I don't need to be doing that either. I might get another booster box during this set, but frankly, I'll probably just save my money so that I can get a booster box right at the launch of the next set in a couple months. Um, and a trove. The troves are so hard to get. <laughs> in fact, hold on. Uh, this is unprofessional or whatever, but I've got to check. Um, on Amazon, I didn't know this was a thing Amazon did. But you can set things that you sell to invitation only. So then, if you want to get the item... You have to request an invite... And so then you get a link that's valid for 72 hours to purchase the thing. Um, which I didn't... I know that was a thing, so I applied for one for a trove. Uh, I don't think... I 
I think it's unlikely. Because, like, the booster boxes are happening. Uh, but the troves are not so much. Let me let me see. I, I was able to snag one this morning on... Because if you get them secondhand, they're, like, 80-something bucks usually. Um... But if you get them legit, it's like 50 bucks, which on Amazon would be 50 bucks plus free shipping with uh, because of Amazon. But then um, the, huh? would it be under that? But yeah, yeah, I grabbed a trove and now they're sold out. So I'm glad I, sn I snaked that. Which it was like sixty something, with shipping and tax, but that's not that bad because it's it's eight packs, it's a box to hold the cards, it's a lore counter, it's damage dice, and it's card dividers. So like it's actually like a lot of really cool accessories, and like the sixty bucks alone would already be mostly just the cost of the pack. So it's it's cool if you can get one. But yeah, those sell out so crazy fast. Come on, man. Let me get let me get wood. Ah, whatever. Also, yeah, tomorrow at the lock-in, they're doing a uh, a draft tournament, which I've never done a draft tournament. I know how they work, but um, yeah, I've never done one, so I'm excited for that. Hmm. Weird, the latest LEGO collectible minifigure series had QR codes that showed you what was in them, but only some of the boxes had them. Was there any distinction for the boxes that had them or didn't have them? Or was it just like totally random? Like it wasn't like specifically rare ones wouldn't have the QR code or something? Or was it like a, a they stocked it one time without the QR codes and then stocked it again with them or the other way around? Like, I could see either of those happening. Mm -bop. Uh, ooh, actually, let's Dizzy Shell, because this seems like it's going to be a whole problem and a half. Okay, now we can take them down at our leisure. There we go. Take them down to just a couple. Much easier to deal with. Yeah, that's what I figured. That was something that happened with Lorcana as well. There's these, um... In the first two sets, they had their additional ad card, right? <laughs> but the other side of the ad card was a um, was a puzzle card, so it would be a it would be one of a pieces of a picture, right? Like a little a drawing. So if you got all four of them through the packs, which wasn't very hard, in fact, you you got like a ton of duplicates if you got even more than it, like a few packs um so those were fun but this time around because there's two new mechanics that they introduced uh locations and moving damage the um they had their ad cards uh, nice their ad cards are uh two cards with rules on them explaining that um but the thing is they had the first ones that we were getting, those ad cards had sharp corners, like Yu-Gi-Oh cards do, whereas the regular Lorcana cards have rounded corners. So we were like, you know, we thought that they were pretty cheap. And as it turns out, that was a mistake, because these new packs that we're getting have rounded corners, the ones that are co going in Walmart and such. Because it, it, it was um, the set released to hobby stores, 
on the 23rd, and it released everywhere on Friday, this last Friday, so two weeks later. So the mass set has the, uh, has the rounded corners. Uh. Ah, you stinker. Up, up. And whoop -ow. Smaller ones, as in like smaller QR codes? Did they not work? Were they too small to even work? Ah, oh, I missed him. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, collectible stuff can be strange. Um, I feel like Lorcana has been doing a pretty solid job. They do have some production issues. Like, uh, the colors, like, the printing colors are really inconsistent. Some of them will be, like, super washed out. Some of them will be, like, super oversaturated. It just seems like a gamble. You, uh, some of them will have creases from the rollers. Is there, like, a Lego app, maybe? There's a Lorcana app, which has been fairly useful, although the dreamborn.ink, like, um, uh, website, the fan-made website has been a lot more useful. I've been trying to use both. The app is easier for, like, checking if I have a card when I'm out and about. Like, if I'm at the game shop and I'm like, oh, I think I need more of these. I can just double check there as long as I keep them, keep them both updated. That's like a whole job unto itself. Ugh, I gotta sell my bulk. I have so many duplicates. I got like, I think earlier, I noticed I have like 12 of the same card. And I'm like, I don't need more than five. Like one for the binder, one for the collection. Oh, is that how it worked? Like, it literally would just say what the thing was. Seems a little, uh, misguided for a blind bag. <laughs> you know, I gotta say... I don't know how well it's coming up on the, uh... On the capture, but this looks really nice. Ah, newest. Oh, let's see. I think those are f free. Oh, right. I remember now. <laughs> oh, okay. So you weren't supposed to be able to see it. Oops. Uh, bo boink. Got him. Woo, yeah, this is a, this is a dizzy shell, shell situation right here. The one th frustration I've been having with Lurkana specifically is, uh, there's Pixelborn which is a fan-made digital version. It it can play various TCGs. It's not specifically designed for Lorcana, but <coughs> that's what I was introduced to it for. But um I can't get it to work on Mac. It says it works on Mac. 
but it, I can't get it to work. And then there's also like an iOS that's in beta, so I can't blame them that that doesn't really work. But yeah, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, yeah, I'd like to be able to play the game digitally. It is on Tabletop Simulator. You have to import, um, you have to build your deck in like dreamborn.ink and then import it. Hmm? Hmm. Import it with a code into, uh, into TTS, but it works and you can play it. So that's pretty sweet. Any of my friends who got tabletop, or anybody here who has tabletop simulator? Who's watching? Like, let me know if you're interested. I'll totally play Teach a Lorcana. It's super simple. It's basically just magic with a couple of a couple of small twists. Um, small twists, which I think are for the better, and I just like the theme a lot more because I like Disney. Um, not to say that you know. If you like the magic theming, good. I'm glad. I just, for me, I'm, I just don't, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not really into the generic high fantasy thing. Uh, oh, right. I was gonna do a honey syrup. Oh well. Nice. Nice. Wow, yeah, you have a pretty wide margin of error there. I was just always going way too early. Yeah, I only ever got a couple of the blind bags of MLP. I liked them decently enough. I thought it was silly that they were all, like, such, like, poorly thought-out characters compared to, like, the level of effort that was put into the characters for the show. Oh, good. Thanks for giving me six instead of just three. I mean, it's better than nothing, you know, but... Could be better. Uh, alright. Drink the syrups. Whoops. Oh, that's okay. Spunk. Spunk. We'll power shell him. Nope, way too early. Yeah, I just have to wait like a full half second longer than I think. Yeah, I think the one that I got was basically just a... It was a Pinkie Pie... The one I remember, at least, was a Pinkie Pie... Pinkie Pie Mold, and it was Peachy Keen, which sounds like a very G3 kind of name. Though, you know, Fluttershy and... Or was Fluttershy? I think Fluttershy was a name original to G4. Pinkie Pie and Rainbow... Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, Applejack... And maybe Rarity were uh, from earlier. Tw I think Twilight and Fluttershy were original, or if not original, then they at least were. Um, yeah. Yeah, Pinkie Pie for sure. Though, apparently Pinkie Pie was supposed to be Surprise originally. In fact, I remember one of the f best fanfics I read for MLP G4 uh, was called Surprise Surprise. And I think it was great because um, it was, it just read like an actual episode of the show. And it's basically just Surprise comes to town and Pinky freaks out because 
Uh, oh, apparently this chap knows the desert well. Of course, he's proving rather difficult to track down. What? Whoa, you're Professor Colorado. It's Cooper. I live next to you. So great to see you. Never would have expected to meet up with you out here. I'm right in the middle of an expedition with Mario. I want to be an archaeologist like you. Hello there, Cooper. It's been ages. So, if you're serious about taking up archaeology, you and I should go exploring someday. Anytime, really. For now, you can concentrate on your adventure with Mario. You'll never attain such fame in archaeology as I have if you don't finish one task before starting the next. Well, okay. As soon as we're done saving the princess and Mushroom Kingdom and everything, you and I, well, you and I will go exploring. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'd recommend that fanfic. It is safe for work. Like, literally, it feels like a spec script for an episode. It's just... It's just classic... Classic MLP. Feels like they were really trying to make something legit, you know? Whoops. So early. Dang, even then? There we go. And give it back! Um... Here's a question for the stream. As in, a question about the stream. Because I'm planning on doing... Tuesdays and Fridays. Maybe Monday as well. Eventually. Um... Should, tues should the Tuesdays and Fridays... Ah, uh, crap. Flourish is a G3 name. Okay. Okay, because I remember she was going to be Posey. And then they... They went with Fluttershy instead. Ah, crap. Well, I got him at least. Ah, doing terrible. Um... Right, yeah, Posey is in G5, and she's a... She's a little stinker. She's racist or whatever. I don't know. I didn't watch any of the ones with Posey, but I've heard... Um, she's... She's a, she's a real stinker. Um... Huh... Um... Yeah, for the stream, for Tuesday, should I just keep playing Mario? Should I do Paper Mario for both days? Or should I go back to doing Tabletop Tuesday and Mario on Mario on Friday? Because I could go either way. I know I want to start that Root... I don't remember if I actually announced it. I want to do a campaign of Root the RPG based on the board game that I've played on here a few times, the digital version. Um, ding, 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 okay. um, uh, so I would probably do that, I mean, I would base that around when the other people in the group are available more than anything. And did it. Hammer. She went out of the way. I'll just power shell it. Okay, careful. Whew, okay. <sighs> yeah, okay. I don't know, man. I, I'm sure G5 has gotten better, but... It started out so weak that I just have so little interest in actually watching it. Has it improved? I don't know. It's also like they... Uh, like Pip? They've given Pip too much. You know? Like she... Um... She's like... She's like social media and princess, and hairdresser? That's too much. Give her like two of those. 
G giving her a third thing is silly. Yeah, that's what I figured. It's like, it doesn't look like it's bad. But it looks more like what you'd expect when you're like, there's a new My Little Pony. You know? Like, G4 was surprising because someone was actually taking the time to make it, you know, good. And then when that person left, it kind of slowly fell away. But then, it kind of popped up back up for a couple seasons. But yeah, even the later seasons of G4 were just kind of like, all right. I think that they they got a lot of goodwill based on how good the uh, earlier seasons had been. But, um... Yeah. I wish it had been a, been a bit better than it ended up being. Oh, uh, no thank you. No thank you. Hoppa! Ow. Yeah, that tracks. Uh, oh, I don't have anything. I'll eat this lime. So I want to dizzy these guys up. Oh yeah, it is two shows, isn't it? There's the 2D and the... Th there is a 3D show? Question mark? I can't tell, honestly. Because there was the movie, which was 3D, and then they made the sh 2D show, which started airing before the other one. Um, and they were saying there was going to be a 3D show, but I can't t remember if I've seen anything of that. I don't know. If I was going to watch MLP, I would probably go back and watch G4 again. Because, like... This is pretty good. I feel like it probably still holds up pretty good. Oh, bop. Oop. Which would you say is a better show? The uh, YouTube one or the Netflix one? And are they canon to each other, or are they just, like... Are they, like, two separate, distinct shows doing their own things? So, we're not gonna do that yet, because I want to keep exploring the desert. Wow. Dip. That's fine. Yeah, I feel like you can't have two separate, concurrent canon shows like that. It's just gonna become a mess. Um, what did he do again? Oh, yeah, let's do that. But yeah, which one do you think is better? Because I, I feel like I will watch them at some point. I just would rather do the uh, worst one first, or, yeah, if I'm gonna watch them both, I'd rather do the worst one first to get it out of the way, or the just do the better one and not even bother with the worst one. Oh, and I mean, I think I would prefer a shorter show. And 
in some ways I do prefer the 2D style, in other ways I very much don't. There are some things that just do not translate from the 3D models very well. Like Hitch's chin. Not a fan. Alright. We're gonna get him. And got a Dizzy um. Yeah, I think if there's more than three guys, Dizzy Shell's the way to go. Huh. Yeah, it looks so bad. Like, I get what they're trying to do, but he's also like... Why is his chin so big? His chin is, like, stronger in the, uh, in the 3D model than the, the other characters, but, like, not by that much. I don't know. I also feel like the ridiculous dimorphism is annoying. Because, like, that's just not how creatures generally work. Um... Like, uh, ooh, a fruit. Got him. Um, that was something I liked a lot about G4 is that, you know, some of them, like, um, Big Mac and Filthy Rich, it was like, they certainly looked different, but it was also, it was very often about, like, how they styled themselves more than, like, just, like, some kind of thing of nature. Like, Brayburn, aside from, like, not having eyelashes, like, Brayburn could be a female character, easily. Um... Yeah, it's, I don't know, I just find it frustrating that they have to do this, like, the boys look like this, the girls look like that kind of nonsense. Oh, the 3D one's already over? I guess that's why I didn't hear as much about it, because it's done, I guess. Huh. Uh, I guess I'm not too worried about panels. It's mainly the dungeons that I'm most worried about missing anything in because you can't really go back to them. That's true. But he's also like the only dude in the main crew, so like, it just is so in your face. I don't know, man, that ain't how horses be. In my experience, horses can look all sorts of ways. Who is Rocky? I do not know this man. The hair salon was not a thing in the movie, so I don't know this guy. Is he considered part of the main cast, though, or is he considered, like, sidekick to Pip? I think there's a distinction to that. I think that's the edge? No, oh, another one, huh? Hmm... Um, dang it. Oh, just one this time? I guess they they get worse the closer you get to, uh, to the dry, dry ruins. Oh, 
Whoa. Go away. Go away. Ah, no. Eat the mushroom. Eat the mushroom. Ah, crap. I wanted to get that fruit. I want to get that fruit. I'm waiting, because right now it's kind of grindy, but there's a point, I have a badge, where once you get to the point where you wouldn't get any, um, any star points from a character, from an enemy, if you one-shot them, they just, you don't even go into the battle screen, they just get got. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, if he's regularly in episodes, right? I'd, I'd, I'd accept it. Like, they're it's like the Cutie Mark Crusaders, right? They're, um, they are not main characters, but they are, like, the secondary main cast, you know? Like, they are there in some capacity very often. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, there's so many! Oh my god. It's too many. Alright. Ooh, okay. Gonna deal with these guys one at a time. Yeah, that's pr I think that's annoying. Like, especially once they introduced the um the new six. It was like basically the CMC were just out of the picture. I can't. Rem I don't. I think that they popped up once or twice more, but they were definitely off doing their own thing, and that was you know frustrating. Listen, man, I'll say this. I love Yona, one of my favorite characters, but if we could get rid of the school arc entirely, um, I'd be willing to give her up. Oh, oh, oh. oh God, it's a whole stack. Crap. Nice. Yeah, what was with that? I d it's that's the thing is that they went so many bonkers places and yet there were still so many missed opportunities. So strange for a show to feel both like it went on a little too long and also feel like it needed more time. Like I haven't read the comics, but everything I've heard of uh the season 10 comics is that it's some of the best some of the best stories in the whole show. A lot of characters who never got their moment in the regular show got it there. Including like movie characters who never really got to do anything. Get him, get him, get him. Ha, ha, ha. 
I mean... I know that D likes the... really loves the Season 10 comics. So... I'm inclined to agree with their taste. Hasn't steered me wrong. Well, generally hasn't steered me wrong. Our tastes overlap a lot. Although, I'm sure there's a lot of people who would say that I don't have very good taste. So, make of that what you will. Oh boy. Okay, we gotta take these guys out in one go. Jeez. All right, there's only a couple left. I think maybe three. Some of them are overlapped real hard. And I think part of why I wasn't having as much of a good time last week is because I didn't have headphones on. Getting to hear the music of this game really improves the experience. All that, and I was starting to get sick, so. That didn't help. Yeah, this is this is nice. I'm having a great time. I also have this delicious bubble tea. Mm. There is a place in my town that does bubble tea apparently, but they only do it with milk don't have any kind of oat milk, almond, I'll take soy. But that's the interesting thing I've been noticing now is that almost everywhere will have almond, some places will have oat milk, but almost nobody has soy anymore. Weird, because of those three, oat milk is definitely my favorite, but uh, soy is the one that's like the this go-to. I don't really care for almond, I don't hate it but I'm not as big a fan. Especially because it's just, it's very thin and kind of bitter. And I don't like that so much. I don't know. Ah, not another one. Thought we were done. Okay. Woo, tedium. But we're doing okay. I think once I level up, these guys are going to become one-shotters. Should be very good. Because it'll make exploring this desert far less of an ordeal. Right now it's a bit tedious, but then again, turn-based games in general can get kind of tedious. I do see that firefly over back there, by the way. I don't know if anyone is thinking like, Oh, this is f Spectre's flower. Yeah, I saw it. Just give me a second. Hold on. I'm just going to eat that shroom. Nom, 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 nom. I mean, I enjoy almonds sometimes, but almond milk? The only thing worse than almond milk in terms of plant milks is rice milk. Because rice milk is just like water. Rice does not really, uh, yeah, rice does not really have any fat content. Which when you're trying to make a plant milk, you need Sugars, you need protein, and you need fat, most of all. So, if you're missing one of those, it uh, doesn't come out so good.
Yeah, exactly. Cashew milk is probably the best. Um, I would say is the best plant milk because it's just so rich and creamy. Granted, sometimes it's good to not have such rich and creamy. Uh, yeah, oat's pretty good. Despite, unlike, you know, despite what I said, it, it comes together. Oof, yeah, food allergies sound very tough. I don't have food allergies, but I do got... Uh, I do got animal allergies, and I got some pollen allergies, which right now are pretty... Ugh. A lot of pollen. Though, uh, a friend of mine from the game store has... has it so much worse. She's like... I'm allergic to four kinds of tree, and they all grow around here. It's like, oh no. Oh, it sounds so rough. Because I'll get a little ugh after a while. Like, I have... I, d I do, like, Flonase, which helps, because I usually get, like, itchy, dry eyes more than anything. Um, then also, like, I got an air purifier, which helps a lot. Like, an actual proper one. Because I had, like, a cheapo one for a minute, and it was okay, but like I got a proper, proper one, and it's it's very nice. Okay, I think. Ooh. Ah, it did. I mean, yeah, if it doesn't kill you, that's that's definitely good, but it still just sounds unpleasant, especially like I eat so many, so many different nuts. I love them. They're, like, one of my favorites. Plus, I'm trying to gain weight, and it's, like, they're one of the handful of healthy carbs. So I try and eat a ton of them. I could, I could do a lot more. I should get the, the thing that is, like, the most carbo-loaded that I, like, enjoy the most are the, the peanut butter pretzel nuggets. Do you have a peanut allergy? Because I know that, like, nuts and peanuts are not the same thing, technically, so you can... Um... So it's pretty... Uh... It's pretty common to have one and not the other. What should I go with? Uh, I don't really care about that. Okay. Let's do that. And that. Yeah, that's a pretty good loadout, I think. I'm sure the pro... Mario players out there are just like, eh, well, you should be doing this badge and that badge. Oh, no. Okay, that's good. Because, yeah, peanuts, like peanut butter. I, I do that all the time. I like peanut butter on a waffle. I like peanut butter in oatmeal with some banana, especially. Bananas are another very healthy carb. I got that potassium. Aww. Bananas are like my favorite. I love bananas. That's the thing is when you say you dislike bananas, it's like there's so many types of banana though, right? Even within the same standard Cavendish banana, there's like, all the different levels of ripeness will create a completely different, like, flavor and texture. People say it's like the longer you go, the more ripe it is, the better. Which, to an extent, can be kind of true. Like, if you don't want to 
really figure it out. Because the, you know, the longer you go, the more the sugars mature, the more sweet it is. But, uh, I... Ow. Uh, yeah, I don't. The Twitch ads are annoying. They gotta get that that money, I guess. It'd be nice if I got any of the money from that. I get like a few cents every stream. Yeah, overlay banner or um, you know the pre rolls. I appreciate that they give me the option to, if I play, I, um, if I play an ad manually, it will turn off the, at least the prelay ads for when people first come on. Um, for like a certain amount of time. But also, I just wish I had more control over all of it, you know? Yeah. Let's do this again. I guess I can technically turn ads off entirely, which might be good for, like, viewer retention or something, but it's like, eh. I'll just keep them going. I encourage people to use ad blockers. It's literally, the ads are a security risk, so you totally should use ad blockers, even if that screws me over. Really, if I was going to make any kind of money, it'd be through sponsorships, so, yeah, you know. I'm not too worried about people screwing me out of, like, 20 cents a stream. It do add up eventually, I guess. Alright, back out. Now we gotta get the second of, I think there's four? I think it's five across. So, yeah, I'm gonna do this next circle. And then, yeah, at the end, I think I'll just have the... It's, I think, two more circles, this one and the next one, and then a single middle location, which I've already been to, though I kind of zipped through it, so I'll probably go through it again. Wamp. Wamp, wamp. Nope. Too early. Gotta wait until they're basically almost on top yet. Yeah. Gotta get the hang of it. I don't really care if they steal a single coin. It's annoying, but it's not that big a deal. Oh, hey, thanks. Do I even have that badge for just dealing with them? Hold on, I think I do. It's, uh... Yeah. Yeah, okay, I, did. I got it on. Plus, I mean... You've probably heard about it, but the uh, bananas that we use and the bananas that artificial flavoring is designed um, with in mind. Let me rephrase that. The bananas that you can buy as fruit and the artificial flavoring are not the same. You can buy Cavendish bananas and the original uh the 
artificial flavoring is based on the gross Michelle banana. Hmm. Oh, dip. Um, that's why they taste totally different from each other. Uh, you can actually get here or in the Florida area. In well, I should say in Florida, there are farms that grow gross Michelle bananas. Because it, it went nearly extinct. Very heavily endangered, but people brought it back. So you can get it. It's not cheap, but you can get them. My sibling, Egan, who's been on the stream before, uh, has a birthday present last year, I think, or the year before, had um, my dad got them some gross Michelle bananas. So, I'm very curious what they're like. There we go! In with the one two. Gotta dizzy him up. And we'll just do a power shell. Cause I'm feeling lazy. It's not optimal, but it works. What? Oh, I, oh, I moved a little bit. Dang it. Ah. Never feel like I'm getting those as efficient as possible. In any Mario game, they always give me, like, FOMO of, like, man, I feel like I could have done that better. You know? These are all pretty good. What did it do again? Oh, I think I'm good on that, actually. It sounds useful, but I don't think I need it. Hmm. Uh, oh! Oh, wait a minute. I went too far. Right. Should have gone to the left in that last one to continue in the circle. Oh. No, thank you. Oh. A blue cactus, eh? Weird. Very, very strange. Whoop. Oh. Oh, dip. Also, I think I said it before on the stream that I was going to the zoo on my birthday to Dinosauria, which is like a thing where they have a bunch of a bunch of animatronic dinos, but that was last year. Didn't have it this year. Said on their website for quite a while they were still going to have it, but they waited until literally a week before my birthday to be like, oh yeah, we're not doing it this year. They said, uh, I asked a guest relations while I was there, and they said that they'd do it every other year. So next year, 
I'm seeing those dang dinos. You can't stop me. Um, let's just power shell. Lighten my lewd. Sorry, I'm just checking my phone again. I want that... That trove invitation. I mean, I'm getting a trove. But if I can get two, it'd be good to have both A, the box, because I got a lot of cards now, and B, the dividers. Um... Like, yeah, because you only get a set of one each. So, having a set of two would be very useful. Because I would like to keep them separated by set if I can. Though, at the same time, that's the thing, is that I'm only keeping them separated by set because Dreamborn.ink only lets you sort them by... I think I need to go up now. Dreamborn.ink only lets you sort them by number and by set. So you can br break up which set you're looking at, but it's always going to be sorted by number. Which is unfortunate, but for a free thing, that's, you know, that's fine. That's reasonable. Um, but... That means that I have to keep it... Uh... Oh. Oh, there's a thing. What was it that he said? About this? I don't remember. Oh no, I think I messed up. me yeah, up. I think there was more of a circle to do. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Let me get back to the main road. And then count out how wide this desert is. Ah, dip. Yeah, I messed up. Hold on a sec. Oh, it's way more than five across. Okay, so they're the beginning of the desert. Pretty sure. Let's just heal up and save real quick. Let's see how far across it is. So that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh boy. Seven across. Okay, so I was messing up my circles there. That's fine. I've done the outside circle, I know for sure. Let me just check what he said about the stone cactus. Three south and two. Okay. Let's just do that really quick before I forget. Three south and two west. So 
So it was over here. One more, I think. Maybe even further. No! Ah, dip. Dang it. Where'd he send us? North? Oh, he sent us over here. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, crap! I don't know. Oh, hey, wait. These are the three trees. Oh, this is fun. Okay. Now let's not just bust right into the dang guy. Okay, here we go. Three south, two west. One. Two. Three. Ah. Uh, Secret block. Hidden block. Hidden block. Please. Please. I think I might not even be in the right place. That's fine. Okay. Whoops. Oh, that's... That's nothing. Here, I'll even get him with power bounce. Whoops. Well, that was a waste of power bounce. gonna grind these guys for a minute since they're there uh, one thing I did see though when I was there is on the train ride uh, one of the back sheds on the little like train tour around the space was um could see uh, some of the dinosauria parts over there. They had like a T-Rex. And I think part of like some smaller guy. So that was fun to see. It'd be nice to see him moving, but you know. What?
Okay, we're gonna Disney show these guys. <laughs> ah, yeah, I'm real excited for the uh, the lock-in tomorrow. Excited to stream more. Gonna probably focus on trying to do some more YouTube. I got my tax refund, which I think I'm gonna try and invest this year. Which is, you know, it's gambling, technically, the stock market. But it's gambling that's backed by the, the government, at least, so... You know, you will get your payout. And I'm gonna play it pretty safe. I'm gonna get like a handful of... I'm probably gonna find like a real stockbroker. Uh, I'm gonna get a handful of... A like handful of like safe stocks. And then like maybe one that's like a bit more risk-reward, you know? Um... But I'm not gonna go, like, ridiculous with it. Uh, let's drop the stopwatch, and then- Oh, crap! It's gonna drink the honey syrup. <coughs> Didn't get the chance. Okay. Ah, timing on those guys is so tough. syrup. Uh. Uh, drop that. Drink honey syrup. Okay. There we go. Ooh, that was not efficient. But it worked out. Oasis has got a heal. Very helpful. It's also got a lemon and a lime, although I'm kind of stocked up. Ah, dip. Come on now. Uh, dizzy. Yeah, we're gonna dizzy shell. Him. And we're gonna quake hammer on. And we're gonna power shell him. Fact, probably could have just power shelled and quake hammered, thinking about it. Oh well, worked out. Ah, I'm running out of space. Let's drop this stopwatch. Whoa. Actually, let's drop a dried fruit. And then use the stopwatch here. Ooh, spooky. Wow, goes for uh, four turns. Hmm. That's good to know. Ooh.
Yeah, we'll just do shelters. Oh, right, the dried fruit. Ah, uh, I forgot. Well, that's fine. I'm going to get back to town. Save and then take a quick break. Yeah, it's been almost two hours. Um, Hold on, how am I doing? Uh, FP is not great, so we're going to... In fact, let me drop off these dusty hammers. In fact, yeah, I'm gonna drop off a bunch of stuff. Uh, dried fruit. Dried fruit. The lemon. I'm just gonna sell some of these dusty hammers because I just bought too many. How many did I get? One, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, we'll get rid of two. I know that they'll be useful in the dry, dry out. You know what? Actually, yeah, let me just check them. Because they're going to be useful in the dry, dry ruins. But out in the desert, they're not as important. Okay. Then I will honey syrup. And in fact, yeah, we'll just grab like seven honey syrups. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll grab one more. Then we will go to the toad house and then we will save and then I will take a break and then I'll come back and I will do that second. Cause it's seven across, which means that there's, let me think, seven across, so uh, one, two, so there's three concentric circles and one right in the middle. Though I think it's only five up and down? I don't know. Um... In fact, we will check that when I get back to. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna take that break. So don't go anywhere. Don't touch that internet dial. I'll be our back with more Paper Mario in just a minute. Okay. okay.
<sighs> okay, I'm back. Oh, there's my controller. Um. Yeah, that's the vibe I hear. Like, Sunny Star Scout had a lot to do with the actual movie story, but then, like, now she's just, like, there to be be main character, and that's it. Okay, so let me check. So, we're, we were in the middle, so this is one. Two. So if there's a third, that does mean it's seven by seven. Yeah, so it's seven by seven. So that means that the middle... The next one is going to be five across. I was under the impression, for whatever reason, that it was three. So I did not go all the way through it. That's my bad. Uh, let's just... Yeah, we're just gonna one two him with the uh, that and the quake hammer. Scott Ghost! Got him. Ah, we'll ignore him. Okay, and then this is the middle. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna move here. We're gonna go up to, then start going to the side. I think there might be a guy here. Yes, there he is. Come over here, you little stinker. Well, I mean, she's supposed to be like the audience surrogate, like, you know, like the every person, like, whoa, what's going on with this person? I don't know, right? is something I don't know something I really liked about G4 was that because it was specifically about friendship so much of those early seasons was them um, learning to be friends right like the, there's the early episodes of like Rarity and Applejack not getting along and uh, Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash finding common ground you know, finding out about Rarity and Fluttershy's relationship that was one of the few that existed beforehand, because it's like they didn't know each other, and now they're forced together by the elements of harmony. What's up with that? Like, it was a great framing device for the theme of the show. I think, um... Yeah, I think that it was... maybe misguided the order of the episodes that they decide to go with. But yeah, it seems like the other characters have so much more of a personality, whereas Sunny is just like, I'm I'm the I'm the protag. You know, she's the Leo of the Ninja Turtles. She's there and she's fine, but sh there's just nothing particularly special about her. Bing bong. Yep, a lot, lot of grinding at this point in the game. Especially here in the desert. Hold on. Yeah. <coughs> I know if that's from leftovers from being sick because it was some kind of science thing or if it's just my allergies, but... There are certainly times where I get into, like, ridiculous sneezing fits, but that's just... That's just always been the case with me. <laughs> what? Oh. Uh... Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that's the thing is that I, it, it just feels like the movie didn't really set up a series. It felt like it was just a contained story that kind of could be 
could keep going, but like... <sighs> There's a difference between leaving a story open-ended and a story having the potential to tell more story, you know? So it's like, yes, they left it open-ended, so it's like story something would happen in this world after the movie, but it's also like, who cares, I guess? Like, I don't want to be mean about it, but, you know, it is like, who cares? Okay. Ooh. Like, if the most exciting thing that happens to your characters is already over at the beginning of the story, then what's... what is there to watch, really? Is that supposed to be what her cutie mark is? Yeah, that's the other annoying thing about the ads, is that they're just so much more obtrusive than the actual stream, which is illegal in broadcast television now. But the internet isn't regulated. Which in s sometimes is good, and sometimes is very, very bad. You gotta get on that. Uh, okay, so that was two, which means we're at the five position. So now we go left for four. Huh. What is her cutie mark again? Isn't it just like the sun? Three, we're in the middle. Trying to keep track. Um. I mean, wasn't that just a G4 thing anyways that the cutie marks were A, even called cutie marks, and B, like, meant anything. Hmm. Sure. I mean, smoothie's good business, I guess. People like fruit! I can't believe and I haven't made a smoothie in forever. I used to make one, like, every day. I just kind of fell off. It's, like, just slightly enough work, you know? That I'm like, eh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Uh, well. Now let's just jump. Just going, going. Get rid of you. Yeah, exactly. center. I lost track. Yeah, I never make fresh waffles. I'll do toaster waffles, which are okay. Fresh waffles are so much better, but they're just so much work. Mainly in the cleanup, like, the setup and everything is fine, but, like, cleaning a waffle iron is such a pain.
And you don't even need to do anything that crazy to clean a waffle iron. It's just like... Crap. Did I... I don't know. We'll just, we'll go until I hit the edge and then I'll just scoop one back. I think the next one is the last one in the circle though. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're basically the same more or less the same thing. I, there are versions of waffles that are a little more intensive than pancakes, but pancakes are stupid easy. Like, they're, frankly, one of the easiest things to make. Even from scratch. Like, if you have the, the mix, that's fine. Like, the pancake mix, pretty solid. I'd say it's kind of unnecessary because doing it from scratch is so simple. Um, and I think slightly cheaper. It's really not that much of a difference of price that I... I'm not going to be like, Ugh, it's not even worth it if you don't... It's like, no. If you don't want to do pancakes from scratch, the mix is fine. Different mixes will be better than others. That's for sure. So you got to kind of like... Experiment to find the one you like. I am partial to Bizquick, but that's just because that's the one I grew up with. Um, yeah, there's there's a variety of quality stuff out there. Um, I think this might be the edge. And if not, then we're just gonna go south. It is not, we're going south. Uh, you know what, we're gonna refresh. Ah, oh, man, now I want some waffles. What I want is one of those waffle makers that's, um, Like they have in hotels, where you like put it in, you close it, and then you flip it. Those guys are awesome. They're probably so much, so annoying to clean. Though, I mean, uh, that's the thing is that with a waffle iron, I don't think you really like need to get in the sink and clean it or anything, because it is cast iron. It's mostly just like if it drips but I'm sure that squicks a lot of people out. It's just that those just cook them so much better, you know? Ooh, yeah, let's power shell. Nice try, buddy. Okay, so if I'm correct, we should be able to walk two down. Um, and we will be back at the road. If we go one left, we'll hit Colorado. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Oh no. Well, that's okay. I don't mind losing a point or two. I just don't want to die out here. That'd be annoying. Yeah, there's also you can get like a waffle iron that literally just goes that's just stovetop that also like pulls it's basically just two pans that like hook together. That's the classic way. Okay, this is the road. So Colorado's going to be right over here. Okay. So then I'm going to go and Heal up and save over here. And then we will continue. So I go back one over. Then two down. Okay, he's back. I don't care. I made it. I think I've been here before. Two. Okay, now we're gonna start going right. Oh, come on, get back here. Eh. Ba boom <sighs> I'll just throw it out. We'll drink one. And then we'll grab it. Okay. Go right for four. Right for four. I think this last one is a coin block. So we are in the center now. Or rather, the, the middle. So we will go right for two more. care about that dried fruit because it seems like I can just come back and farm them if I really want them. And I got like three of them in storage back at the shop. Ba-boom. Too, if I'm doing this now, 
I'm gonna have to kind of come back and do it again anyways with, uh... Uh, Flashbolt guy. What's his name? The little electric guy that reveals secrets. Because I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff I missed. Ah, oh, crap. Too early. I usually do it too early if I mess up. I'm just, I, I rush, I don't know. Hey, there we go. That's a level up. We will go FP. Seems like what I need the most, most of the time. So right, this is the center, so we got two more. Right, this one's with blue, which means there's, yeah, that guy. New, no, thank you. Whoop. Not getting any XP from them, which means that I should be able to. Yes! There it is, so now I don't even have to fight them if I can get that first strike. Okay, and then this would be the edge, right? Yep. So I will go over here to heal up. Then we will get back on our way. Then it'll be one, two to the road. And then we will do the next circle, which will be a much narrower one, so it'll be easier to deal with. Oops. Ah, damn. Uh, I'm just gonna run. Interesting that they give him the invincibility frames rather than me. It doesn't really make a difference in the long run. It's just a little odd. Okay. Thanks for the advice, buddy. All right, so now we just need to go one down, two over. Crap. the two. Then up. One. Up one. Then over two. And we've already been to the center. That one is not a coin block. 
Lock. Okay. And then we just get back on the road. And then this is the center. Is this the center? Huh. Then we go one. Two. And three should be Colorado. Oh. It's not. Uh oh. I got goofed it up. You know what? I don't even care. I'm just gonna go. Wait, do I even need to heal up? I don't. Okay, I'm just gonna go straight to the uh, dry, dry ruins then. Is at the top center. I'm gonna have to come back here with the the flashbulb guy, anyways. So, Zap or something. I don't remember his name. Just gotta find that rock. Which I think is in here. Yep. Drop the pulse stone in. And it rises from the desert. Question is, can I finish the dry, dry ruins before the end of my stream at nine? About a hundred minutes? I think I can manage. I think it'll be tough, but I think I can manage. Just Okay. Just gonna go for it. Was there a save? Save block over here? Oh no. Maybe it's inside. Okay, there it is. I'm the huge scary return Koopa, remorseless king of the desert, who dares set foot in this small palace of the sands. Speak and be known. Be gone from this place now, or disaster will befall you. Save complete. Okay. Well, we're gonna whap up. Oh, great. I'm just gonna like, get, get, get out. Nice. I might be going a little gung ho, using up all my my uh, flower power so fast. But we'll see. Yeah, deal. Spike shield. Oh. Ooh, that would be pretty good. I haven't been using the power bounce very much. So yeah, we're gonna go with that. Ah, dip. Skagoosh. And Babouche. Nice. Oh. 
Ah, I need a key. Where the keys at? What is a key? Easy peasy. Wasn't even a problem. What's even the point? Um, hit the switch. Drain the sand. I'm so good at puzzles. Can I go down the hole? Ah, uh, can't go down the hole. Well, I suppose that makes sense. Fool, you have ignored my warning, haven't you? You fool! You will fall to my legions and become a mummy of the hands. Man, if you say so, I'm just hanging out. Oh, it's a beetle. It's a little beetle. What? I didn't get him. He got me. Get him. Boink. Da doink. Now we'll shelter us. Uh, wait, that's where I came in. Going down. Whoa! Because I know that they want me to para carry over, but I'm gonna explore a little bit first. Oh. Whoa! Ah, dang it. Whoa! Attack power? Blah, Crunched. What is in here? Uh, I can't do that yet. I think I get the better hammer in this... This particular fortress. Okay. So I do... Gotta parry-carry it. I just don't like Paracarry as much. You know, he's alright, but he's he's not as good as this guy. This is my guy. Back to Koopa. Drain. Rain the sands. Yeah, I think I can finish this by the end of the stream. Get the key. Keep going. Ooh, we're doing good. I think it gets trickier after this point, but not by much. It's still only, what, the second fortress? Well, the third, I guess, with the uh, stuff. Hmm? I wonder if this is gonna have something. Ah, there it was. Sneaky tricks. That's... Him for two. Whoa. Okay. Um. Yeah, I want to hang on to the hammer throw. 
That's why, because of the bats. Get down here. That's what the dusty hammer was for. Ah, crap. I was going to switch back. Go grab the dusty hammers before I came out here. I forgot. Whoop. Too early. I do like their little schnozzes. Get the little schnoz. They're cute little guys. I do have to crush them, though. Crunch them to death. Hammer throw. Get him down here. Skadoosh. Let's see what he does. Okay. There we go. Ain't nothing. Er, no, I should hit the swooper. Since, uh, Cooper can't hit the swooper. No Cooper swooper. Not this time. back here, though, because there was other stuff. Oh, there's a big old brick in the way. Well, that's fine. I'll just hit the button. Since it won't lock me out or anything. But I gotta get the better hammer before I can do all that. Paracarry. Switch back to Cooper in case there's a fight. Uh, wait. Come on, don't go in that room. Oops. Uh, I mean, flee now while you still can. If you continue, uh, you'll feel a horrible curse. Okay. Gee, I wonder what's in this room. Could be a variety of things. Yeah, we got some switch puzzles. Yeah, we got those. Last I checked. Check in the back for you. You want another one? I don't know. I think, yeah, that's set up so that I can just shoop shoop right up. Oh, don't hit that. Okay. And we're going down. Give me that hammer. You got the super hammer. The attack power of Mario's hammer increases. On top of that, you can now destroy stone blocks. Nice. Should I take the old hammer back to... Goompa, I think he needs it. I think he could use it. Eh, I guess not. There's another block back here, so I'm gonna go do the blocks. Real quick. What? I got the artifact, which I think Colorado wants. This is where, yes, there it is. Oh, hello. Bye bye.
did they count as ground enemies? I guess so. Whoa, they hit hard. Okay, they don't have that much health, though. Would be good to save and heal up, I think. Or, uh, do I want to run all the way back for that? I think I'll be okay. I'll drink some honey syrups at least. Thank you. Oh, hydrate. Yeah, I got gotcha. it. Ah. I do stay pretty hydrated already, but I appreciate the reminder. Uh, ooh. Bomet. Bometting? Uh, don't give me Buzzy Beetle. Please. Wait. Oh. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, nope. That's not what I want. I want Cooper. Alright. Back to Buzzy Beetle. Pop. Nice. I'm pretty sure I gotta fall down there, but I'm not gonna do it immediately. Uh, we'll power shell all these guys. She does a little bit for me. Ah, I want the badge. I'm pretty sure there's a badge that lets you jump all of them in a line, right? That one would be very useful now. I always do it a little early. Gotta get my timing down a lot better. And I'm not going to waste a power shell on just two of them. See? Well, early. There we go. I always got to remember to hold off for just a second longer than I think. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. And... Ooh. What was this? Defense? Okay. Nice. Uh, I am... Um, wait, actually, I will use a refresh. Since I can do that in battle. And we'll just shell toss. Oh, I got 404 coins. Well, not anymore. We found him. Couldn't find it before. But we found him. Turn back, thief. Your time is running out. If you do not retreat, you'll be in grave trouble. I do not lie. You will regret it. Yeah, sure. Here, Midstone. I don't have the key to that yet. Oop. I need that key. Harry carry. Buddy. Take me over, take me over, take me over. No, not quite. And, oh. Hey, there we go. Stream has been going all right. We were just, you know. Talking with chat quite a bit, talking about my birthday that was last Sunday. Talking about Lorcana again because I can't stop talking about Lorcana. It's a good game. It's a real good game. Thanks for asking. Um. Oh, right, I got a hammer throw. Oh wow. I can just take him out with one. That's pretty good. I got a Bridget Nendroid for my birthday. I love her so much. I haven't taken her out of the box yet, but I plan to soon. 
She comes with a Roger. And she comes with a little uh, sound effect of gout. Just like in the game. It's real fun. Oh, I see you up there. Don't think you can trick me. Oh. Up there, huh? Ba bow. Power shell, the two of them. Is that enough? Yes. Efficient. I got a hammer throw to get him down. Yeah, I wish I'd remember to grab those those dusty hammers before coming in here. Because I, I, I got so many dusty hammers specifically for this, and I just totally forgot. Oh, oh. Nice try. Pop out. Knocked him down. Bust him up. <sighs> okay. That's fine. That's fine. You can get back up. I went to the zoo for my birthday. It was very rainy until just after lunchtime, so we had to go through twice because after lunch was the time when, you know, you would actually have uh, the animals would actually be out. Bomb at or paracarry? Uh, I'll give it to paracarry, I think. Let's see what I can get. But we will use bomb at for this wall. And then let's switch to Paracarry for a bit. See if he's more useful. Maybe he is. Oh! He was hiding! Sneaky. Uh, let's just Quake Hammer, since I got just enough FP left. And we will skydive. Okay. Oof! Oh, I should have blocked that. And we'll just do the classic hammer. Oh, I should have hit the bathroom on my break. <laughs> I was too busy grabbing water. Oops. Whoa, coins, 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 coins. No, 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 they're gonna go away. Ah. I don't think I got that last one. That's okay, though. Popping back up. And I, think I missed one. Huh. Oh, right. Did I get the key for this? I did. Okay. There we go. Let's drain it. Shows, oh, the pyramid should be on the left. Okay. Whoops. That's not what I meant. Hope everybody out there is staying hydrated, getting all your, getting all your nutrition, getting some exercise. I've been not doing so great on that middle one, but I'm doing pretty all right on the other two. Feels pretty good. Ah! A sneaky trick. Not for long. Where's that even mean? Ah, crap. Messed up. Nice. Nice. See, yeah, when they go fast, it's a lot easier to dodge, actually. Because there's, it's much harder to do it early. Whereas, 
when they're uh, going slow, I'm just like, I have trouble with the timing. But I think that's the intent. Oof! I believe I was getting ahead of myself. Nice! Come out! Give me that health. Give me that health. Okay. Give me some coins. <laughs> Thank you. Then let's go put the last stone in. Hopefully it lets me heal after that. Whoa. Oh, they're shining. Oh, jeez. Yeah, there's a health block. Whew! Thank goodness. I really need it. Alright. Um, probably some over here, right? No? Okay. This is your final warning. Enough of this foolishness. Leave it once. Um... Bomb at. I, I feel like it's always going to be indicated, but feels like there's a secret there. No. Okay. And then, what do y'all think? Which uh, which guy should I take into this boss battle? Because I'm inclined to take Cooper, because he's been very useful. But this is the area that I got Paracarry, so maybe they intend that. But then Bombette could be good. We'll take Paracarry for now and see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Gasp. Oh, it's invisible. Oh, he's forming. There he is. You, you ignored all those very scary warnings. Don't you have the common sense to get scary runway? What's wrong with you? Shouldn't mess with Tut and Koopa, a faithful follower of King Bowser. Oops, I mean, you shall regret this. Hmm. I see. So yeah, it was a good idea to come in with Paracarry. Ba boom! Nice. Aw, oh, sweet. Damage, right? Yes. Perfect timing. <laughs> come, chomp, come. Bat this intruder. Whoa. Okay, well, I'm just gonna hit him with a hammer. Give you a little bonk. Then I will shell shot you, because you are still my. Aw, oh, dang it. Whoops, too early. That one I blocked. Let's just hammer. I don't even care about the chomp, frankly. This time Koopa is the one I got it. I got to take down. <laughs> I'm a magical genius. Oh, wow, Chim, be amazed. What does that mean? Oh, that was a trick. Ah, uh, you. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna refresh. Up. Oh, nope. Timing was wrong. He's gonna be out of shells soon, so I don't even care. for the one. Nice. Right, watch out. Oh! He can hit himself. What a goof. Skadoosh. Got him. Ba-boom. 
Ouch, what are you doing? That hurt. I'm king of the desert. You rude, rude man. Take this. Oh. Nice. All right, well, we're just gonna jump, uh, jump. Skabosh. Easy peasy. No! Oh, he munching. Oh, come here, Chompy. What, what are you? Oh, help! Bang. Star Spirit. Who's there? Oh, it's the cute one. I don't remember what voice I gave her. But we'll find out in just a second. Anything, any secrets? Nope, okay. Yeah, I remember. I remember the voice I gave her. End of chapter. Nice. Chapter two done. Oh, way earlier. I actually got done in like... 15 minutes. <laughs> that was a very short chapter. Thus Mario and Party unearthed the legendary dry dry ruins deep within dry dry desert. Mario and Party, you say? They smashed Tutankoopa Koopa the wizard and freed Mamar, the second of the wish-granting star spirits. But the enemies awaiting Mario grow ever stronger and the challenges more difficult. What's in store for Mario and friends? Where will their adventure take them next? Save and continue. We'll get to the save point before I finish the stream. Ooh, we got another peach segment. Oh god, how did I do Bowser? He's a... <laughs> Hello, how are you feeling, princess? Nothing makes me happier than a smile from you, peach. Well, tough luck. I'm in a very bad mood, you monster. You've imprisoned all of the gears from the castle. You are the single greatest disaster to ever befall the Mushroom Kingdom. I'll tell you what. I'll smile when you make everything as it was before you showed up. <laughs> oh, that's rich. You know I can't do that. That jerk Mario just beat the Koopa Brothers and Tutton Koopa. Sure, they were complete wimps, but they were still loyal to me. I can't forgive Mario for disrespecting me. Yeah, I'm nipping this in the bud right now. I'm going to use invincible tubba blubba on him. He's the strongest creature I know after me. You'd best forget about Mario. Your nastiness. Wait, that's not what I gave her. We have a problem. Why, Cammy Cooper? What's got you so riled up? You look upset. What? The star spirit flew away from Tubba Blubber's castle. K King Bowser, keep your voice down. Princess Peach will hear you. Mm, yes, right. Tell me the details over there. I guess Peach is French. I don't know. That was the voice I decided on in the beginning, so I'm sticking with it. Dwink, did you hear that? Yes, I sure did. Star Spirit must have escaped. Do you hear him call it Tubba Blubber Thing Invisible? That doesn't sound good. Do you think Mario could win? We'd better try to find out about Tubba Blubber. We could find something, anything about the weak point. It might just save Mario. A good idea. Then, there's no time to lose. We won't get anything done if we stay in this room. Okay, uh, I'm gonna hit the bathroom real quick, and then we will do this Peach segment and get to a save point, and then we'll finish the stream. So, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back.
Okay. As I said, be right back. Ah, Peach is sleeping. Wake up. Um, okay. Got the same secret button. I thought I hit it. There we go. And we're going. And we're going. Oh, she doesn't have a zip. She does move pretty quick, though. There's still guards outside. Be careful not to get cut. Ah, uh, yes. Stealth mode. Easy peasy. Okay, that's locked. This isn't locked. There's nothing in here, so we'll just keep moving. Uh -huh. Hold on, I got it. Get my chair a little closer. My mic stand was at its limit. Ooh. Oh, look there. What beautifully crafted treasure chest. Yes, do you like it? This is a mysterious treasure chest that's been passed down through generations of my family here at the castle. Really? A mysterious, mysterious treasure chest. That's right. This chest is connected to another mysterious treasure chest somewhere in the Mushroom Kingdom. They say you can put things in this chest and take them out of the other chest. Isn't that, well, mysterious? Yeah, wow, that's really cool. So where's the other treasure chest anyway? Uh, what is it? You know, I can't remember. I believe that's in the mansion we're going to. i just drop that in the chest. Nope, there's a guard in front of that door. <laughs> okay. So yeah, what's just the next door? The library. There are guards here too. Probably lots of them. We better be extra careful. Okay, just classic stealth gaming. Okay. Some classic stealth. Oh! What, oh, Princess Peach? You're not allowed to leave the room. <sighs> Oops! Yeah, if I was playing on an emulator, I would rewind there, but... We don't have that option. The other... Ugh, yeah, there's rewind on the other ones, but not this one. The other, uh... The other, uh, NSO emulators. Like the NES and the SNES ones. But not on this one, which is gonna be pretty frustrating when I do the Banjo-Kazooie run for the, uh, Charity Harathon. Uh, oh yeah, and I don't know exactly when, but we're getting pretty close. My hair is at about a little under a foot long now, and it has to be 14 inches. So that means it's been about a half inch a month, which is average. Average growth. Um, so... Yeah, pretty soon. I'm gonna donate my hair again, and I'm gonna play Banjo-Kazooie 100%. Marathon Ch for charity. Those kids need wigs. Ah, oh, I see. Oh. Hey, have you heard about Master Tubba Blubba? I heard a rumor that he loves eating ghosts. Ugh, oh, ghosts, huh? Master Tubba Blubba lives deep inside a forever forest, doesn't he? I think he's going with his star spirits right now. Yeah, Master Tuppa Blubba lives in the castle of Tuppa, Gusty Gulch. I heard that somewhere near his castle is a mansion and a village full of ghosts. Guess Master Tuppa Blubba sometimes goes there to catch booze. And then when he catches one, he gobbles it down, starting with its head. 
Oh man, that's so scary. I won't be able to walk into the bathroom alone at nights. I'm gonna have nightmares, I know it. What'd you tell me? Also heard the Master Tubba Blubba is invincible. They say he can't be hurt. Nobody can even scratch him. He might even be stronger than King Bowser. Stronger than King Bowser? Come on, that's impossible. Even Master Tubba Blubba has to have some weak points. It's just common sense. Yeah, you may be right. There's another rumor that Tubba Blubba's got a secret that would ruin him if it ever got out. I bet it's about his past. I heard he didn't used to be strong at all. Shh. What if Tubba Blubba hears you? He might gobble us up. Still, you think a secret could be anyway? I don't know. No one knows. That's why it's a secret, you halfwit. Twink, it sounds like Tubba Blubba has a weak point after all. Only we could find out. Huh? Hey, did you hear someone talking just now? <gasps> did you think someone knows we're goofing off in here? Oh, whoa! Princess Peach! How'd you get here? Sorry to do this, but you have to go back to your room right now. Ah, dip. Oh, no! Hey. Thank you, Mario. At last I can head home to Starhaven. My name is Mama. So nice to meet you in person. Still got a long way to go, but I just know you can save Princess Peach. I'll do my best to help you. Here's a present for you. Mario's star energy goes up to two. Now use lullaby. You can make all enemies fall asleep. Call on me when times are bad. Believe in this, Mario. My powers are strong. I'm a star spirit after all. <laughs> My powers are growing all the time. Keep up the good work, Mario. I must save the other star spirits as soon as possible. But now, I'm going back to recover in Starhaven. Who knows how my dear old Starhaven is faring without the Star Rod. Goodbye, Mario. I'm off. Hmm. Well, how about that? In fact, let's... Yeah, I was able to finish that really fast. So let's uh, make our way back to Toad Town. Then I will call it... Get out of here, you goofy guy. And skip. I'm not gonna waste my time here. No, oh no, five coins. Uh, uh. Oh. I mean, they're just. Coins. I don't know why I'm even doing this. Single coins. Oh, wait a minute. Fire flower. I guess it was worth it. Did I not? Hmm. I don't remember doing this. I thought I went through the whole desert. Wait. I'm I doinked it up. I doinked it up. Okay. Uh, let's drop off some stuff at the shop. Then swing back the other way to get back to the train. how you get the pipe network going. I hope it doesn't take long because there's a lot of things that are kind of annoying until you get- oh hey, what's up? This is sure different from our jobs at the castle. Came all the way here to look for mystery and excitement and adventure, but it's too hot. I feel like I'm drying up. Quiet girl, the heat of the desert isn't anything compared to our passion for adventure. As long as we stick together, we can take anything. We can go from one end of the Mushroom Kingdom to the other. I've bought many rare goods here at Dry Dry Outpost, and later we're totally stopping at the legendary Dry Dry Ruins. We're gonna be filled with stories when we get back home.
Oh, hey, and thanks for following 64 Paper Mario. I'm gonna be playing this for quite a while. Um... So, you know. Come check it out. Oh, one second. My roommate's asking me something. Uh, texting. Happy Friday. Saved, head on back to Toad Town. I think it's just gonna be backtracking. I can't remember if I have to fight the vulture. Because I lied, but I and I know he bought it then, but I don't know if he buys it when you go back. That boy sniffing. Wait a minute, maybe I should It's fine. I don't need to do Merly again. I'm pretty sure I can open up the pipes at this point. If not here, then at the Forever Forest, so... It's all chill. I think the Forever Forest is gonna be a, a bit of a slog, because, like, I don't remember exactly how it goes. Let me out! Okay. Oh, the way those coins were spawning in was freaky. What's up, guys? Well, what ill luck. No clues about the ruins. Being so frustrated, I just might have to give up the excavation for now. I'm very sad. I say. Mario, that artifact you hold in your hand looks like... It looks quite important. Do my eyes deceive me, or is that a clue to dry, dry ruins? Mario, old chum, I beg of you. Could you possibly part with it? Cheers, Mario! Smashing, really, old boy. Soon now, the mysterious dry, dry ruins will rise from the sands that conceal them. As a brilliant archaeologist, I say it must be so. I suppose the thank you gift is in order, eh, old boy? Here you go, then. You know, you now know a bit of the magic of the desert. Cherish the memory, old boy. Sure, thanks for the stop piece, you dingus, you doofus, you maloofus. Save. Oh, God damn. The reason I went back to town was to drop stuff off. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. I'll drop a honey syrup, I guess. I just wanted to get another Wacka's bump or two. But I guess not. Hey there, hold up a second. Hold up a sec, partner. Just a darn minute. I've seen you somewhere. Yep, very similar. You look a lot like this fella Mario, who's on Bowser's Wand poster. Now, give what's your name? That's Mario. Mario? Well, I'll be. If you're Mario, I reckon I've got to bust you up. I just want to do the fight. Oh, I should change to Parrot Carry, though. And we're gonna... Ba-boom! Uh... Oof. Okay. Got him. Uh, uh, let me go! Okay. Ba-boom. It's awake, but I don't think I can lose him. Nope, that was just a 
right. Just when I mash, I have to like, I have to like do an overhand grip to be any good at it. So I have to like switch my, my grip real fast. Still got her. Damage. Damage up. Skagoosh. Oh, not his damage power, though, eh? Uh... Ah, damn. He got me. Oh, but you can still block it a little bit. There we go. Nice. Ah, didn't level up though. Yeah, I got whooped. Nice. Well, that was fun. No. Just kidding. It was quite fun. I uh, oops. Nope. No thing. Maybe Whack is over here. I don't recall. Maybe we'll just get back to the train. I don't know. Saved. Nah, we can get back to the town itself. That shouldn't be a problem. I'm mostly there already. Whoa! Ah, oh, damn. Let me see if I can even get any star points from these guys. I don't think so. Nope. Whoops, a little early. Because he's further away. Give me that bump. Whoa. What level am I? Nine. Okay. Pretty close to level 10. Oh, wait a minute. A secret. Hey! Up on that, of course. Sorry, Gumbario. Contender. Egg. egg. Oh, honey syrup. I don't need it. All right. Head back to Toad Town. Save and call it a night. I got I got some stuff I gotta do.
Man, long cutscene, huh? Didn't really need to show us the whole way back. Oh yeah, get more of those, those pigs. Toe Town, Toe Town. the point of these, frankly, but I do believe it's part of the 100%, so gonna do them. some pigs. Y'all know how it goes. Let's see how many do I got? Uh, that's seven. So I can do three more. Understand this this mini game, but I'll I'll do it. Uh, I do got another minute or so, so maybe I will go to the pipes real quick. Or no, that's not the pipes. The pipes are back here. Yes! There we go. And I don't think I can... No, nope, not that yet. But, I can do this. Blooper! I gotta fight you again? Ah, dip. Shouldn't have done that. Ba-boom. Oof. That's pretty tough. But have you considered Bobo? Bobo. Uh oh. Uh oh. He did some. Oof. Yeah, that's what I figured. Well, that's fine. Nope, much too early. Come on, come on, go down. Come on, how many do you take? All right, we'll hammer throw. Ooh, a hammer throw is actually pretty good. My new hammer is pretty strong. Yeah. And whoop. And we'll refresh. Bob-ohm. There we go. 
Hey, and that's a level up. Let's, uh... Ooh. We'll do some badge points. And I think that does. Yes, unlock the various pipes. Nice. Um, drop a honey syrup. Wait, I think. No, I just leveled up. Whoa. Some guys. Oh, I got some gamers here. All right, we're gonna not get into that right now. So I'm gonna swing back out here and save. I'll call that a night and get into this pipe nonsense next time. Saving is out here. Yeah, there's a variety of Toad Town tasks that I gotta do, so let's... Let me just double check. And, uh... Just for security. That as well. Alright, that'll do it for today, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in. We are gonna raid over to someone, but, you know, please take the time to join the Discord, which is up in chat now uh follow subscribe if you'd be so kind and yeah let's let's uh see who's online all right um yeah we're gonna we're gonna raid over to who are we raiding over to who's live it's pixel could be good Marine is pretty simple. Uh, Beta Blaster. Jason Payne James. Yeah. Or you know, actually, let's go game game Anisis. Game Anisis is pretty. Pretty cool. So, go check her out. Raid has been created. It'd be nice if it popped up here so that I could do it. Oh, I think it's there. Hold on. It's figuring it out. And yeah, she's doing a best of best of 2024 watch of cozy indie games. So check that out. Have a great weekend. I'll see y'all on Tuesday. Okay, okay. Bye bye.